Hello, everyone. Welcome to FMA Professionals. I'm your host, Dr. Tim. Today, we're going to go over how to use Canva to promote uh, or to do flyers, um, event notifications, and stuff like that. Okay, so um, I'm a minute or two late. I'm just going to refresh over here so I can verify. I've got multiple screens working on this. So, uh, I'm going to go through my list of things. All right, so, I hope everyone's doing well. It is 11 a.m., April 23rd, Eastern Savings Time. I am here at Horizon Martial Arts, the World Mountain East Alliance headquarters. So, for those who are not familiar with who I am or what I've done, uh, I've been running, um, I've been teaching professionally for over 20 years. Uh, I have the longest running professional Filipino martial arts school to my knowledge in North America uh, as a full-time school. Now, what is a full-time school? Uh, a full-time school being that it pays for itself as well as my salary versus a part-time school, which could pay for itself, but the owner, as I silence my phones, the owner may have a day job to supplement. Now, there's a handful of schools out there that are like that. They're doing a great job. Um, so today, with the consulting of what's going on, how to use this stuff, and this will be on YouTube later, um, I'm going to show you how to use some things to, to step things up to the next level. Now, uh, with my experience, there's people of all levels that are going to be able to find some kernel in here that's going to work for them. That being said, this is not for the big time school. And specifically, um, what I'm trying to do is help the Filipino martial artists have a, a better professional image. And there's a lot of stuff out there that we can utilize, a bunch of which is free. Now, Canva, I, uh, we're gonna go over that today. I use Canva. Um, it is a free service, although I do pay for the upgrade, uh, which ends up being, I think, three or something dollars a month. Now. Um, the things that we're going to go over today, and I'm going to look on, I've got multiple screens rolling here so I can look at, we're going to talk about how to use the templates. Uh, we're going to use uh, doing image editing. Uh, we're going to go over the Canva image library, how to make a video without having video footage and inserting music tracks. Now, uh, I've got some photos that I have taken pictures earlier today for some stuff and some other photos. So what we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to build a, um, a uh, seminar flyer. So let me share my screen. So I have this going here and this, so I'm going to be, I'm going to switch my monitors. So in front of me is going to be, oh, that did not work the way I want. Hold on one moment. Let me let me see what's going on here. Maybe it's because I switched the screen. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to be going back and forth because I can see some of it here on the main screen, but my main screen is to my right, uh, or, or at least my editing screen. So right here, let's do full screen here. This is Canva. Now, I have stuff loaded in here. I've got my own... Um, stuff going on. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to go back out for a minute because I want you guys to have a better uh, better view. And my branding is in the way. So what I'm going to just do is... Uh, uh, it's not much better. Well, let's see if that works. Uh, I'm going to go with no branding. Okay, boom, done. All right, so let's go back into it here. Okay, so uh, Canva, like I said, is a free service, although it is definitely well worth purchasing the add-on. So uh, right off the bat, we've got the main, uh, main uh, you know, my accounts up here, how to create a design, a whole bunch of different designs here as well as throughout this. Um, and I have to use it, I'll dip my mouse off to the right. Okay, so... Uh, we've got a bunch of, there's thousands of templates, and then we are able to create folders. So let's start off with an event announcement. Now, what I'm going to do is design an event announcement 
to promote a seminar I've got coming up, actually a series. And I'm going to do this as a um, Facebook event cover, which is different than a normal Facebook page cover. And uh, But the cool thing here is once you know your sizes, there's a whole size library. So right off the bat, I'm going to hit create a design. So let's go. It is not in the quick thing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go Canvas search. I'm going to go Facebook, and it's going to come up with a whole bunch of things. So right here is cover out. Now if you look at this, this is 1920 by 1080. Now um, that's all I really need to do is have that size. I can create something from scratch, but. What this is going to do, um, in its own good old time, is pull up a bunch of templates. Now, I'll have to admit, not all the templates that are here are ones that I like. So sometimes what I do is take from something else, like a thumbnail from a YouTube channel. Or what I'll do is an Instagram post, and I can repurpose it. So there are some hacks in here. So we'll go down. We'll just you see. So these are all the predetermined things. Uh, that might be able to fulfill what you're looking to do. Now, there's really nothing here geared specifically for what I want. Um, but let's do this right here. I'm going to use, we're going to probably use Maddie's turning whatever because uh, it has a photo section. And I don't even need that because I can go blank and just keep it that way. I'm just going to page down a little more. As you can see, there's tons of stuff here. Um, so if I don't, Okay, when I'm when I first started, I didn't get too creative. I used templates that were pre-existing, and then I started innovating off the top of that. Hmm, just like martial arts, I learn how to do something, and then I innovate from there. Go figure. So I'm going to take it's a surprise. We're going to use this one as our uh, as our uh, template for today, to, or at least the initial one. Um, it's not the one I'm going to end up using, but it'll do for now. Okay, so here we go. So, uh, first of all, this gentleman is not going to be doing the seminar. It's going to be me. Now, I did put some photos in here. I don't like them. I need to... Uh, uh, I had different uniform top versus bottom. Now, what I can do... Now, what I'm going to do here is... So, first of all, here are photos that are preloaded. Now, what I'm going to do is make this smaller. And you can see that I have a part... Uh, uh, death stroke uh, <laughs> a death stroke flyer there all right uh, let me see that put it in here uh, I'm just gonna open up some folders no that's not gonna be it okay so I have a I have a folder right here as some stump stuff I just downloaded from my phone that's still not what I'm looking for all right um, bum 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 okay so actually this will work because now I use OneDrive uh, so that's the the file I like doing so I go into my pictures and camera roll and last night I took a few photos uh, I gotta move stuff around okay here we go so I use these photos right here so uh, I'm gonna downsize this because I want to show you how to pull this in now I'm not pleased with the photos I took but this was just done with my phone so it's not a it's not you know so it's not a high-end photo um, although you'd be surprised on how good of a picture that does. Now, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the staff here. We've got a few seminars coming up. So I'm going to take this staff picture and just carry it over to here. Oh, you know, I got to look at the right thing. I'm going to carry it right over here. It goes to uploads. So it's an upload because I'm uploading a photo. All right. So you can see some other, but it was just drag and drop, um, I think that photo was already there. Yeah, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out just because I can. Now I can I can trash whatever I put in there. So I'm going to take this photo right here, drag it in here so you can see, and I just drop it in. I wait a moment, and it loads up. So it's going to be dependent on your internet speed and size of the photo and stuff along that line. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this because I don't need it anymore. Uh, so let's say I'm, I'm doing a staff seminar. I've got a couple here. Now there's a few things that are pretty cool with this and then some other things you just need to, to realize you're working around. So first of all, I'm going to drag this into that photo. Now I can just, if I just double tap it or tap it, it brings it up. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of that. What an ugly mug. Oh my God. Who is that clown? 
Um, but I'm going to make life easier. I'm going to drag it into the photo that's there. Now I can move the photo. Uh, unfortunately, uh, with this quick photo, what I didn't do was make sure that both feet were in the picture. So like I said, we're just using this, or um, actually it is in the photo. What I do is below the frame. So now what I can do is make the photo. Now I make the frame smaller. Then I grab the corner and make the picture smaller. So um, the foot is there. Now this is just the dividing line. So what they did is they put it on a blue background. Uh, okay, as a Filipino martial artist, you already know we're going to do red or black because that's what we do. I'm going to put this on a red background. Okay, so the flyer is going to be, you know, I'm going to go black later because our colors are red and black. But I can also put other ones in. We'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color to, say, green. Not because I like the green, because it'll show up the difference. Now, this photo should work fairly well. I need a photo. Now, I can keep this photo and trim it down, grabbing the corners to move it around. Um, I don't need Photoshop to do all this stuff. Now, here's the cool part right here. Uh, besides that ugly mug on my face, the issue I have with this is the background. I don't want This is the wall of my school. I got these swords coming up here. And I actually will just want a different background. So what I'm going to do here is hit, click on the photo and hit Effects. So right here, black, eh, black, background remover. Boom, done. Now wait a moment. Still waiting. Boom, there it is. Now, um, It's a flyer. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. You don't necessarily need to go through uh, having a photographer. But in my case, I don't like the fact that these pants are different than the top. So um, there's a shade difference because they're two different materials. And on some of the photos I took, it was evident. Now you sit there and you say, hey, look, you've got the swords there. What can we do about that? Well, funny thing you mentioned that. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to remove. And... Um, before I click anything, wait for this once again. Boom, boom, boom. All right, erase and restore. Okay, these buttons are very important. So these are, are tools that I could use to erase the image or restore it. Now, actually, it took it out. Okay, but if it was still there, what I could do? Let's see. I want. Let's say I want to bring something back in. I could go. First of all, I would click show image. So those swords were showing up. I can go over it like this to bring it back into play, which obviously, why would I do that? So I'm going to erase all of this here. All right. But the nice thing here is, okay. Um, okay, I had to get rid of the image. Okay, so I'm there. So now I'm saying I'm done. Okay, uh, some of the little DNA is left, but that's okay. I'm going to make this larger. And what an ugly mug. So there is that. Okay, now, when I click on this, I don't want the feed in here, so that's why it's off on the bottom. Okay, so we've got this going on. I'm saying, all right, I'm going to do a staff seminar. Uh, I'm going to come back to that in a moment. Okay, uh, buh, buh, buh. so, you know. Filipino word for staff, one of the words is sabat, seminar. Okay, boom. With Datu Tim. Now, this, okay, uh, this may, I might be able to do this here. I might have to do something else. Let me just see here. Okay, so right now the way it's set up, I have to do the whole thing in there, okay? Uh, I have to edit it all together. So what I could easily do, so this is all one unit, and it gives me the navigation bars. So it's just cool, uh, the lines here. I don't want this all one unit. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to right-click it. Down here, there's the ungroup. So now the whole section can be moved. All right, so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to add extra an extra text box. So I'm going to keep this in the center. I'm going to go to text. I'm going to insert uh, add heading, and it says you know I'm going to go with dot to Tim or dot to Hartman. On that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of this here. Bang. Now, I'm going to bring this in here. Now, here's the cool thing. If I want to enlarge the size of this, I okay, uh, I can do two things. I can make this one line or keep it two. If I grab a corner, it enlarges everything that's in the box. If I grab the sign, it changes the size of the box without changing the size of the font. Now, I don't like this element. This is just an element there. I'm going to get rid of that. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, I may have just well started off with a blank slate. So uh, I'm going to put this here, Sabat Seminar. I'm going to downsize this with dot to Hartman. Okay. Over here, I can put down dates and times. And right over here, well, since we're in the text, I can, or actually right up here. So here, up on here, there's it's uh, Arvo. I can change the text to anything I want it to be. So there's Antonio Bold. I can do bang. Bangers is pretty cool. Um, well, there's some dividing lines in there. I could go out. Oh, i got to highlight it. There we go. Um, okay, I like that font. We really don't want to have more than two fonts per flyer. Um, but the cool thing here is like this. Now, what I can also do, let's say I'm just going to copy this. The problem when you have certain these, the, some of these that are predetermined or already pre-done, it makes everything a cap whether you want it or not. But I'm going to put a, a special font in there. I'm going to put in Glow. Why not? Let's use Glow here. Um, so I'll use Glow. And now what I'm going to do is paste it. There we go. It's so about seven arm. Okay. Now, it's not all fitting in there because the font size is too large. So it's at 339. I don't know why the heck it's doing that. I'm going to get it down in the 90s. Okay. So we got that. So we can experiment with color. So I can make this uh, gray. Okay. Now, if I make it gray, there's a slight black hue. You can barely see it. Um, depending on the color, you can see that white hue there. I can, you know, I've got purple there and it's got the little hue there, you know, so on and so forth. So it'll be whatever color you pick. Uh, so I'll do the green. It's greener there, but if I go background of, uh, let's see, white, you can see that hue better. I'm going to go back to where we were. Now, what it'll do is give you some colors based on what's going on here. So based on my uniform, it'll do some it'll do some stuff. So we'll do something from scratch in a minute. Um, I'm going to put a background in this. It's not too far off. Could be better. Um, boom. So I'm going to do, I can do a gradient. I think I want to do a gradient today. So let's go to gradients. I click all, and here are a bunch of colors. So I can go here. That's got a better vibe to it. You can see a little of the hue. So uh, we can decide whether or not we like the, um, the plain text or the, uh, the one with the hue. Now I line this all up. Everything's there. That's just another piece that I can take right out. And then uh, what I would do, uh, Horizon Martial Arts. Okay, and I can make it one line. And I can change the size of everything that lines up. It's symmetrical there. Okay, and I usually do, most of my seminars are noon to two. Noon to two. Okay. And, uh, you know, what I might do is I might go here like this. Put it down there so it's two lines. Um, I check the sizes here. Now, what a lot of times what happens is there's a little extra DNA left over from stuff. So it may not be 100%. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to one side. I'll do it on the left, and then I'll do it on the right. Okay, there's no space in between that, so that's good on the edge of these when I... When I just now, if I had, let me say, I put an extra spot in it. 
two spots. Now, as you can tell, that's that's not symmetrical, and I'm OCD. So what I would do is I'd go to one side. Okay, there's a little space on the left that needs to be taken out. On the right, it goes right to the box. So I would just go to the left again. I put my cursor there. Boom, boom. If it goes up there, I just hit that enter, and now it's on that line. Um, so I haven't decided which one I like better. Now, let's say I want to experiment with stuff. I do this button here. It will duplicate the page. So now it's got one right below. We're on this one below. So on the one below, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to do a couple things here. I'm going to bring this up here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Now I put a logo in here maybe. So I can see this right here. This one is going to have this here. And I'm going to grab this corner and make this larger. Now, when I do this, I want to make sure that everything's lined up because I am that OCD. All right. Now, let's put a logo in here because that's what I do. So I go to my uploads. I've got a whole crap load of stuff in there. So... I think what I'm going to do is put the school logo in, so that's going to be at the bottom. Now, I'm sharing the screen. If anyone's had any questions, I can't see this right now. Oh, I'm going to go my old school logo. That's cool. That's badass. So I'll do that with Dr. Hartman, and then I'm going to get rid of this element here. So I remember I got two of these. I got two flyers, one on top of the other. Now they're lined up. So I can go, there's the second one, it's fairly plain. But I can see which one I like better. Um, I do like the artsy, artsy stuff, but I do like the clean look there. So I can I can play with this. But on this one, let's go Let's go completely different. Let, uh, let's change the background. I've got a whole bunch of background. Now listen, I preloaded some backgrounds too. So I can put this as a photo. So, so I've, this is a backdrop in my school. I will uh, stretch that out and then click. Now that has become my background. So I'm like, there's that one. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool too. I like, so I'm going to go probably with this one and have less embellishments here. It could get a little, could get a little um, dicey here. So what you could also do is up here, this is the transparency. I can back this out a little all the way to that gradient because this is a photo. It's not. A back. I mean, it's not a background, so I can now. I can also. I can do this. Click here. I can change the background to black. Okay. Uh, yeah. Basic black. New transparency. Right. That's that's more of a gray. Let's do this here. Okay. Now I can make that black, just because I just prefer that as the background. This comes back up here. I, you know. So when I start doing the transparency, that's why I want that different color background. So I can go here. Now I can move the photo depending on where I want. This is the warrior, Lapu Lapu. Maybe it's too red, so I move it up a little bit, wee bit. So I'll do it done there. All right, now uh, maybe I think this is just a little too much, a little, a little too strong. I can back out. I can do the transparency there. All right, so I'm going to go right here. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go to the conversation. So I've got eight. Uh, let me see. Nathan. Uh, hey, doing good, Nathan. Uh, good to see you, Datu, on the way. Oh, hey, George. Good. I'm glad you're going. Good morning. Great to see you, Datu. Datu, um, could you use other photos for the backgrounds other than the program? Pro and I just did that right there. Yep. Thanks for the answer. Okay. And that's why I want to go back and forth between this because unfortunately when I do the big screen so you can see better, I can't see the comments. So, or anytime I'm doing the share, I lose all the comments. So, uh, it's there. I just won't be able to view it while I'm using the big screen because I, I really, let me see, I think that's a better look. Here, okay, can you tell the difference? Am I doing this big screen for you guys or is it just me? Um answer that because if I'm doing this for me only I'll keep it smaller so I can see the comments so um, I you know so right now it's at basic 
and then I'm going to do full screen. Does that affect you, or is it just my view? I'm going to go back to where it was. So can anyone answer that question for me? I know there's a little delay, so I'm going to go over here for a moment. Um, all right, I'm going to go there. Actually, I'm watching this, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm watching this on my laptop, so I'm going to see. We can see it big. It's large for me. All right. All right, so I'm, I'm clicking back and forth. It doesn't seem to be affecting what I'm seeing on the screen, so I am just going to keep it where it's at. Um, so that's fine for me. I'm going to get rid of this on my other monitor because I do like to check every now and then. Okay, so I'll keep it where it is. So you guys get a good view, and that's all visible on my phone. Okay, it stays in place. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thank you, everybody. So let's get back into it. All right, uh, so I'm going to get rid of this little element right here. Um, I'm going to put Horizon Martial Arts because it is the host school. Or, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the organizational logo on there because this is my brand. I, so I've got several things I promote. Uh, I'll use this one. This is the World Monterey Alliance. I've got the red version of that, which uh, really doesn't look that well. Hmm. I can also put the sun in there, and what I've done with the sun is I've put Lapu Lapu in the middle of that. Datu Lapu Lapu, and I can go here like this just to try to change things up, give it a little design there. Don't know if you guys like it. You can give me a thumbs up or say it looks like doo doo. Um, I'm gonna make this a little larger. Boom. Now, like anything, like if you're using Publisher or any follow thing, if I click on this, I right-click it, it, gives me, I can bring, I can send it backwards, I can send it to the back, um, I can do the sun here, I can bring it forward or to the front. So if I do it forward, it brings it one level. If I do it to the front, right there. No difference in Norway. Well, okay, there we go. All right, thank you, Henning. Um, so, so this is our flyer. Um, what do you guys think? That's just quick off the top. Um, obviously, this date would be a little different. Let's see. We'll do 21. You know. Uh, oh. I'll do 21. You know, and I can make this change a little. Man, that, that's an ugly face. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll deal with it. Um, so I'm going to show you another thing here while, while I wait for you guys to give me some feedback. I'm going to put another photo up because I had a little problem yesterday um, with, with the editing. There is no substitution for Photoshop, okay? Photoshop is a great tool if you know how to use it. That being said, this has got a lot of power in this that I don't have to pay for it. Now, I'm going to use this picture instead. Now, here's... Well, actually, well, here, I'm going to back out because now I'm going to do another duplicate once again. So I've got... Now, down here... I've got, I've got three windows. Here's page one, the first one we did. Here's the second one we did. Now I'm going to do a third one so I can compare it. I'm going to take this photo out. Done. All right. Now the photo is still here in the library. It's unedited. Um, no problem. Hey, listen, anybody who's got to go and stuff, this will, you can look at my Facebook page as well as go to YouTube. Once this downloads, by the end of the day, I'll have this on YouTube so you can watch anytime you want. So, I'm going to put this photo here. Now, this is what I found out doing this. Another ugly mug. Maybe, man, I've got the same shitty look. So, uh, this is where I have a little problem here. As you can, uh, um, the pants and the uniform, the top are two different materials. So, when it comes to um, Photoshop's, I don't, or photos, I'm not down with this. Now, here's what this does. When I delete the background... Because of where my staff is, it gets rid of half the staff. And that's really not a problem. I can work around it. I just got to wait for this to happen. Dun, 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 dun. 
Boom. So now it looks like I got a stick. Where did the rest of the staff go? Well, I am going to restore. I'm also going to increase this just a wee bit. And here we go. Show the original image in a ghost type format. Now, what I need to Nah, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna change some things here. So I'm gonna move this up ahead of time. Ah, son of a gun. <laughs> All right. All right. Um so I'm on this one. I'm going to actually well I'm gonna back this out. I'm gonna back it out. One more time. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try this one more time. But I need to get this up far enough north with the uh, frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do effects. I'm going to remove the background. And what it's going to do is end up taking the top part of the staff out. So how do you restore the staff? Now, there's a couple things you got to know. You're going to remember. Now, I don't know where the staff is. I don't know where the top half is. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit restore button. So I've got this blank canvas. Now what I'm going to do is show original. Now when I take this brush over there, this brush is way too large. So I'm going to bring this down quite a bit. Okay, so it's at 8. So I can just... I'm going to go quick. I'm not going to go great with this. I could make it better. But I just want to see how you can actually... Um, I'll go back. Son of a... Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. Deep cleansing breaths. Usa. Now, it never... It doesn't permanently edit the photo. It's just for the for what we're working at the moment. So I'm going to move this down to one. I'm going to hit the... All right. And you got out Now, I have a track... Oh, actually, I need to have it like two or three. Oh, maybe four. Okay. So in my photo, I use a trackball oh, as a mouse. I don't use a regular mouse, so I can use my thumb to manipulate the mouse. So I get better, better control here. Uh, that's what I like to do. But I'm going to just go down the center here. And I can increase the size of the photo to get a better look. Um, you know, I can go up here. Now, I wouldn't do it on this. What I would actually do is Photoshop when this much of an image disappears. And I happen to have Photoshop. But I'm just going to show you what you can do for a quick, and you might say that's enough. But sometimes something's better than nothing. Now what I can do, okay, let's say I go too far, okay? I've been told that I go too far. So now what I do this side may go too far over here too all right so now what i can do is erase and i can just take a little of this back now i'm not gonna go crazy with this um today i'm just gonna do real quick it's gonna annoy me because i'm not gonna do this flyer so it doesn't matter but still it'll my ocd That's enough. Done. Okay. So there's some things in here that is going to annoy me. I'm going to restore a little. Oh, no. Go back into here. And I'm just going to do it right there and right there. And say I'm done. So you got the white sheen up there. That's not going to. That's just not going to work. So, you know, at the end of the day, some of the stuff you need to do is uh, use Photoshop. There is no substitution for Photoshop. Now, that, that filled it in better. Now, um, you might sit there and say it's close enough for what you're going to do. I mean, you tell me what you think of that. You know, um, what I'd also do is... I, I I like more of the three, you know, the more the, the, the torso type photos. So I'll go down here. I'll actually, what I'll do is I'll bring the photo in this way so I don't have to manage so much of the, 
they got all this real estate I don't need on there. And I'm making the photo shorter just by grabbing the, the side walls, the borders. All right, I don't want to, I'm going to take that much and get rid of that for now. So I'm going to go here. And there. And this doesn't matter here because when I go to print it, it only, when I make the image, it's only going to keep what I'm doing. So, you know, yeah. Um, so, and then I've got, I'll do, you know, and there's a lot of missing real estate here, so I would actually probably center it here. And I'd probably put some stuff. Now, the thing here with a Facebook announcement, here's what you got to remember. A Facebook cover shouldn't have all the information. There's a rule. I think you're only allowed to have 20% of the image being text. So, uh, otherwise, they'll, they'll just bounce it off. So, the best thing to do would be to have all the information down below. I mean, but we all know people do not read. <laughs> so a lot of times when people are doing things, they just don't read the top. They, they see the photos, like, and then I get a message going, where's the seminar information? In the description below. Um, but I can use this banner also on my website. Um, so if I was to do, uh, I'm going to pull up uh, datuhartman.com because you can go there anytime you'd like. So I'm working on. I have to. I'm. I'm redoing the website. So recently, I did the distance learning page. So that's a uh, that's updated. Um, I've got more stuff I'm going to do. So if anyone's interested in doing distance learning with the martial arts, it's there. Um, but we'll do events. So I took these event announcements. Same thing. I just plugged it into my calendar. So my calendar. I can do. Uh, I can do by the month. Um, you know, then you could go up on the month and then click on, and you know, you can hover over top of that. Or what I do is I do by the list, which I prefer. That's my default. So when people come here, they see all the events. So I have a couple other events. Um, actually, one I'm going to be working on while we're here today. Um, I already created the stuff, but I don't have the information the way I want it. Now, so um, let's change it up. Let's go back to here. Let's say you wanted to not, let's say you didn't want your photo on there. Let's say you got my ugly mug and you want something diff, different. So let's do photos. I'm going to click on photos. I'm going to put in uh, staff. It's not a bow staff. It's a staff. Everyone that annoys the hell out of me, you know I say that. And of course it says bow staff. Because the Japanese word for staff is bow. And of course it's saying bow bow. Now. I'm going to say this with the photos of a lot of the things. They have a lot of pretty ladies here. And to me, it's just a TNA thing that is not really that appropriate for a lot of the flyers we're going to do. Um, case in point. Um, okay, girl in sports bra. I've got a family school. Don't like it. Um, I mean, cute girl. Don't get me wrong. Um, not bad. Not bad. Once again, girl in sports bra. I, I got children here, and a sports bra is not that bad, but, you know, some people are just uptight. And up in the States, a lot of people are very uptight. Now, I came up in the in the music industry, music and theater, so I'm used to changing clothes in front of people and people changing in front of me, so it's not a big deal. This is not the image I would like to use for my flyer. I think they just took a bunch of models, male and female, threw them in and did a whole bunch of stuff so there are some good pictures in here so i can take it's not bad not bad uh let me find one like this one i'm not i'm not i'm not feeling this um bum, 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 bum. okay let's take this one now the cool thing is the tools work on this now i don't have to be egocentric and have my picture on everything contrary to popular belief I'm okay with a staff seminar being somebody else's photo. Dum diddy. Boom. Done. Now I go to a background, put a gradient in there, eh, put the purple gradient in there. Eh, not, not feeling it. 
Maybe uh, let's get rid of gradients. I can't. I want to use gradient every single time. Um, bum bum bum. Textured. Oh, what the heck just happened there? I'm gonna back this out. Something weird just happened. I'm gonna go back to my photos. I'm gonna put her in. Okay. Effects, remove background. I'm not, now don't touch the image while we're doing that stuff. Just let it sit and percolate. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, I'm going to move it here. Now I have put some backgrounds in of my own, which would be going in as a photo. But if I want to put an actual background in, I can look. Uh, I've done it for some promo things in the school, um, which I'll, I'll create a, a I'll show you later when I do this, but a slideshow of merchandise I'm selling, and I'll, I'll do different backgrounds on stuff. Now, what could be happening here is the fact that... Okay, there we go. It's white background. I'm going to go um, this. Well, that's appropriate. It's snowy, like in Buffalo. Go figure. I can put... Um, I don't know. I don't want something too crazy. You know, I'd have to look for different things. I think a, a, a colored background is probably the way to go. So I'm just going to go... Um, actually, go, I want to go uh, photos, no, uploads, uploads. Because I, I put in some backgrounds earlier, and I have some backgrounds from other things that I own. So I pay for... Uh, I paid for uh, graphic stock. And, uh, boom. Send backwards. There we go. There she is. And I can put stuff in here. Once again, I can take all of this. I can copy it, you know, right, right, right click it, go over there, go into here. And sometimes I have to put hit control V. Other times I can just, okay, there it goes. So then I can just move all this stuff. Now, granted, that's not Datu Hartman, but does it really matter? Or what I just do. Okay. I get rid of who it is. We don't need... We, I mean, it's for my students, so... So if I don't feel I have a good uh, photo, I can go there. Now, here's the cool part. Let's do... So we're going to do photos real quick. I'm going to punch in our niece. And there's already things here. So if we wanted to do a Philippine martial art, I'm not down with this guy in this face of his. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, we can go with Screamer with a K. Okay, I have a whole bunch of... Once again, I'm not down with these girls not knowing how to hold sticks. You know, um, you know, pretty, but doesn't look natural in her hand and maybe that's just my I mean at the end of the day an aunt is supposed to get people to call or come through the door so you know I mean you don't really have to sweat certain things and you know maybe on an, an ad for the school this would be a good photo um, because it would it's a, a pretty lady and it might attract people in uh, versus you know my ugly mug that might scare people off but we have a whole bunch of different things we can put in for different seminars and stuff like that okay so what I'm going to do, um, okay, so that we can put that in like that. Okay, so here's what we're going to work on. I talked about, we talked about using the templates, which I threw out, showed how to use the image editing. We're showing you how to use the image library. So I'm going to make a video real quick from what we've done so far. And then um, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do some music on it as well. So I've got this, let's say these are all different events or there's different information for all these events. Okay. So so what I'm or you know, or different information for the specific event. So what I'm gonna do here is right off the bat I'm gonna look up here and say I'm gonna animate. So let's see what we can do here. Um we got rise, we've got pan. I can make this per per um, image or I can have the same 
thing through all of the images. So, um, and there's a lot of different options. So you got to look through because some of the stuff I just don't like. Tum I like tumble a lot. Photo zooms okay. Um, yeah, when it cuts the image up, I really have an issue with that, and it's cutting off. Baseline's not bad. Um, fade's not bad. Let me see. Let's go with. Uh, let's go tumble. So I click on tumble. That's the thing up here now. All right. I'm gonna go to the bottom and says click on apply to all pages. So now what I'm gonna sit there and say how m much will each screen be? I'm gonna say we're gonna keep it on five seconds. I'm done. Okay. So do five seconds. Yeah, we're done. I want to keep it there. So then I go to this one. It's tumble. It says I check everything. Tumble again, five seconds. Tumble again, five seconds. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go here and I'm just going to play this. So it's going to show all of them going from one to another. Now we have a video without having any video footage. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about how to utilize this in the club. Now, let's say you want... Now, now when you saw the, the promo for today's event, well, if, you, if it depends if you saw it or not. I'm going to go to it right now. So um, I made the music video. So I'm going to delete this because... Or not delete it, but just turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. All right. So I'm going to go to... Okay, here's my library. FMA Professionals. Okay. So who, hopefully you all can hear this when I play this. So I'm going to remind me later. And it's all good. So now I will play. That's blowing my ears out. Okay. Okay, so hopefully you heard that uh, with my headset on. That blew my ears out. <laughs> um, so, how do we make that happen? So we go back to the birthday surprise. Okay, so right down here, there is an audio button. So I'm going to hit audio. Now, I have the pro version, which means I get more stuff than other people do. So it's free. I'm not sure if you get any audio without it. So let's listen to tr uh, Hushed. Don't like it. Now let's say I like it, but I don't like it there. I can drag this up here on the top where I want the music because there's this bar right on the top. Not bad. Got a beat. But I'm kind of an epic kind of guy. So I might drag this to here. So we're going to play this. And it's not going to, okay. So what I want to do is digital signal noise. Okay. So I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to hit play. Hmm. It's not working. And, okay, here. So I put the audio in the epic. All different musics. You can... 
see y'all. Here we go. Signal noise. Okay. All right, you listen to this for a minute. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Had to take a little break. All right, so you pick your music, okay? You pick your music wherever, whatever it's going to be. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this. Now, here we go. I hit the word, I hit download. And I'm going to click, I'm going to do all, it gives me an option of what pages I want. I want all four pages. They're going to be 20, five seconds per, per screen. So it takes a moment. And it's going to download this into your download section. Now, uh, if you're doing a bunch of images by themselves, because a lot of times I'll just do little flyers I can put all over the place, I'll have to, it'll put it in a zip file and I'll have to unzip it. If you do one image at a time, it just drops it immediately. Um, so, and this, this is going to be wrapping it up right here because I know we've been on for 52 minutes so far. Um, and thanks about the red jacket. All right, so, um, okay, it's open. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to open up one of my folders. There we go. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to go maximize this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to go to Downloads. Go to Video. There you go, Surprise, because this is the name it was under. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or hear this. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share, let's see if I can do, I'll share a video file. Maybe I can do this. Oh, this would be really cool. I haven't done this on this yet, so let's see if this works. So, that was cool. All right. So, let me just go back to sharing here. Share the screen. I'm going to do it off to the... Uh, do that there. I'm going to share this. Okay, share. Okay. So, um... And then you can go in and do edits and do whatever you got to do from there. Uh, once again, you know, you can put in templates. And now here's the hack. I, I'm going to show what I did. Uh, I'm going to do a, one more thing. I'm going to save that. Or once it pretty much auto saves, but you can always just hit here, file, and save and go from there. Now, uh, I'm going to make one flyer real quick, really quick. Um, so what I did 
was I have my Astig Balintawak program finishing, and uh, which this weekend is the last one for our seminars, and then I'm going to see you all. I'm also starting, uh, in the fall, I'm going to be doing a Tappy Tappy series. So I did two things here. So I got Tappy Tappy there, and then I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use the Balintawak series. Now the nice thing, I can take a file and do a save as, and I can redo all the structure. So I like uh, I like the format of my uh, Stig Balintawak. So what I'm just going to do is make one event, just one. All right. Um, now I can do a couple things here. So I can, I like this here. So I did this. This is from a logo series. So uh, resize. What's the size of these? This is five five hundred by five hundred. And I told you before we had to have that um, nineteen twenty by ten eighty. I think what it was. Um, so I can do a couple things. So I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to copy everything. So this is my hack. I'm going to go to the Stig Balintwalk Seminars. I'm going to file this, save as. So this is 1920 by 1080. I'm going to file, uh, save a, or actually, where is it? File. Save, make a copy. There we go. So it's going to make a copy, and it says copy the Balintwalk Seminar. So what I'm going to do, and you can save these to folders, and we, I'm not going to really get into that. You'll have to look on that. So what I'm going to do is copy of, uh, I'm going to do uh, Tappy Tappy Seminar Series. Okay. And uh, I'm going to get rid of number four because each of the, well, it's a long story. I'm not going to get into it right now. So what I'm going to do now is to get rid of this photo. I'm going to go paste. So these are all the elements from the other, from the logo I did, okay? So I can keep this theme going if I wanted. I'm going to get rid of this. And it's all locked together in there. Fairly nice. Now, what I do is I have different elements I can put in here and stuff. So I'm not digging that, so I'm going to get rid of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo. Um, and the photo we did from this one is me with the stick. Now, I've got this photo with the background, so anyone who ever has a chance to do a photo photography with Bob Hubbard, he's amazing. Actually, I'm going to do uploads because that's where it is. Um, he's done all my work. Now, um, and I already have this with a background being gone. Right there. Okay? So I don't have to jerk around with anything. But now, what I want to do is put this on... I'm going to put an element in here. I'm going to do a rectangle, because I can. See all shapes. I'm going to put... Okay, I'm going to write in a rec, rectangle. Uh, usually it pops up. my backup computer so okay so this one I like because I can move different bits and pieces so what I do is I take this corner and now I angle I can do this as a field so I can go here create a background and that same vibe that we did on the, the other one I did I bring this forward to the front. Oh. I send this backwards. Send it to the back. Now it's front of this. So then I can go here. And I can change this. I can make this a little bigger. No. Make this one a little bigger. Bring it to the uh, heartbeat sign. Go into here. Done. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to do... Uh, Tappy Tappy. I don't like the space. Tappy Tappy. Phase one. I'll do, let's see, modern Arnie's. Tappy Tappy seminar. Tappy Tappy phase one seminar. I can do some, uh, 
actually, well, I put it, okay, these are the master, master class seminar series, so I'll just do here like this, I don't even bother with that. Okay, phase one. So phase one is going to happen. Uh, bum, 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 two. I'm gonna look at my seminar schedule to see when it's gonna happen. Phase one is September 18th. So everyone's been notified, September 18th. One, two, 18. All right. And you know, the nice thing is that I can just reuse everything I have, you know, um, and go like that, line it up. And there we go. Now, uh, I'm gonna move this up just a wee bit because September is a bigger word and I don't like it touching my, my heartbeat. Of course, I could just go here like this and move this down if I wanted. I can move that down. So, and then, like I said, if I want to just download this particular one, I click on it. I'm going to do this as a PNG. I go here, I hit number one, and it downloads. Oh. Crapperoo. All right. I messed that up, but that's okay. I go here like this. Download. That's why I make copies of everything. One, done, download. Now it's going to come out as uh, I didn't switch over. It's part part of the Blintwalk series. No big deal. I can I can change what I had up there because I keep a copy of everything. So then I go to my downloads, and then here's the latest seminar. And that was real quick, and now it's the size of what I need to post on. Um, Post on this is uh, this is the size of a um, event announcement on Facebook. So all the different stats are in there. I think this is a great thing. I don't get paid to tell you guys this. This is uh, uh, I'm doing this free of charge. Um, I'm going to continue with the FMA professionals. We're going to do a couple things. If anyone's interested, I've already got some people asking me about some consulting. Um, I'm going to do uh, a couple more things of this, and then actually we're getting ready to do a course. It would be a week-long course that people can sign up for. And if you can't participate directly, there's going to be a video of it afterwards uh, going over price structures for schools and flyers, this, that, and the other thing. Um, now, on one final thing, while we're there, a lot of times what I do, I have multiple televisions running in my school. And um, what I'll do is a slideshow of whatever's going on. So... I'll have a slideshow of um, merchandise, upcoming events, stuff of that nature. So um, I'm going to go actually go back to this here. So if I'm in here, if I'm uh, add to stream, okay. If I'm here, actually I'll get rid of this. It's being difficult. So I go to my home screen. Okay, so I have this on the televisions, and what it'll do is during class on multiple screens, I will have it do, this is the Rise of Martial Arts update, okay? It'll have the calendar for the month, so I'll put that in there. Uh, it'll have what the theme of the week is, which is past one was weapons and self-defense, so they know to bring any of their self-defense tools. I've got the Estig Seminar this weekend. Um, kids Night Out. Teens that out. Next week is weapons and forms, or I mean, is kata and forms and sparring. We have a staff seminar coming up May first. We have a, a gear special, and then I have the belts where everyone's in class, all the different things laid out, and you know you'll get this. You know, they'll come in and they'll see all these things playing on the TV, and it's a great way to promote stuff that's in your club to sell and all this other stuff. All right, so quick question from Mr. Hiltz. Um, use of the Google Meet logo and branding guide. Any directions on where where uh, to go for it? Well, what I usually do, the, the Google Meet, I just, um, 
I, uh, there's a lot of this stuff that's in here. So if you're, let's go back into there. Let me see. I'll, I'll shut this down. Okay. Well, actually, I go here like this. If you go elements, and I can I can answer this directly too. Um, let's see uh, Twitter. So I'll do Twitter. And it has a whole bunch of images that I can just put right in the screen. Okay. It'll have uh, Google, all the social media stuff right in here. Google. But also, you can look on a lot of these sites. Um, they have stuff they want that will give it to you free of charge to, to put up there. Here's the Google Meet logo. Okay. Now we just label it Google Meet. Uh, when you bring up something here, it gives you some other options. So we've got Zoom, Skype, uh, we've got the, uh, Google Calendar, Drive, a uh, whole bunch of things that are there. And, you know, you can look at all the social media and stuff like that. So hopefully that uh, answered that question. So it's been a, an hour and five minutes. It's a lot. Um, there's so much more I could do with this. But the basic thing was just to get that ball rolling. So, you know, um, hopefully everyone enjoyed this. Um, if you, you get a chance, you know, on our, on the page, feel free to give me a thumbs up on there if you like it. I will be putting this on YouTube later today. So if you didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing, um, you'll be able to see how this works and go from there. You know, and if, if you, you know, subscribe, like, stuff like that. So FMA Professionals has been a brand I've been working with uh, of my own kind of underground for years. I've helped a bunch of school owners um, with different ideas Anywhere from um, business things to curriculum and stuff of that nature, marketing, um, payment companies and stuff like that. So if you have any questions, uh, you know, feel free. And like I said, I'm going to be running a course probably in June and I'll let people know about that and see if, you know, we'll go from there. So um, Datsu's Corner is Monday and I'm going to talk about nomenclature. And then next week, Friday, I'll probably be doing another one of these FMA professionals. And um, I've got a couple different ideas on that. So I'm going to get back to you on that. So, But uh, I'm going to be doing podcasts bi week or twice a week. Um, and uh, I'll get some more information out there. So listen, thanks everyone for tuning in. I hope everyone enjoyed it. As always, everyone, please stay safe and stay sane. And this is Datu Hartman from FMA Professional saying thank you and have a nice day.